One of the significant changes in software um, or programming particularly has been the introduction of software development environments. Now these um, are uh, particularly th these are environments that are available to any programmer now with a with a PC. They they combine uh, usually the uh, a programming editor with a compiler and a debugger, possibly a configuration management uh, system, uh, to greater or lesser degrees of sophistication. So we'll have a look at these. Um, no, I've just given you a definition, but uh, we'll have a look at their contribution to uh, quality and, and uh, briefly have a look at a couple of examples of them. So the definition uh, of a software development environment particularly is an interactive environment providing comprehensive facilities for programming. Now, as I said, this is normally um, some variety of um, navigation pane, so you can see the directory uh, of um, either files or when you open up the files the, the class structure within the, the piece that you're working on. There's always an editor where you can edit um, these things of, of frequently of very, very great sophistication. There can also be uh, diagramming tools. Um, there's always some link to a compiler, uh, possibly some sort of syntax checker as well. Uh, style checker so you can enforce uh, coding rules um, and uh, as I say the compiler, the debugger um, um, uh, I don't know whether they linked up to defect tracking tools uh, but frequently also the uh, version control tools or configuration management tools so the, the, the programmer gets this whole environment where they can do it with all this, these things uh, largely automatically which is a really good idea now, um, they do maximize productivity. Um, now, part of this is because everything's all close at hand and it's all tailored and it just works very well. And uh, It's actually quite delightful to see a, a programmer in such an environment just very slickly doing all of these things. It's great. Um, so the, the productivity comes partly out of having everything at hand, but also uh, quite significantly because it reduces the time between cutting the code, this, this encoding something, and trying it out and uh, seeing if it works and if it doesn't work it's, it's right there in your mind at the time and you can fix it very quickly. Uh, that shortened feedback cycle contributes to productivity immensely. Now, aside from that um, the the other contributions, um, as I say, the editors quite frequently have uh, quite a bit of uh, knowledge about um, the programming uh, built in and can can detect and fix errors uh, straight away. So that's I think that's a pretty good idea. Now, uh, some examples of uh, software development environment. There's, there's two examples. The first one uh, is the Eclipse. Um, software development environment. I've just taken a, a, a screenshot from the Eclipse uh, SDE. This particular screenshot shows the navigation pane over there on the left, um, the properties pane also down on the lower left. There is an, um, uh, an editor pane um, that shows what the actual code is and this is, the thing, this is some part that you might change. There's a, a class diagram uh, we can um, I presume you, you can uh, introduce classes to make a connection between classes. And there's um, a pane there to uh, show you all the methods within a specific class. So you have uh, quite a lot of information there at your disposal. And uh, this is only one, one example of this is typically the kind of thing that you would see. The next one uh, that I picked on quite arbitrarily is Visual Studio. Uh, this is because I presume that Visual Studio is quite popular in the world and so here is here is the Visual Studio, um, a typical Visual Studio presentation. Again the navigation tends to be on the left, um, the uh, editing panels or the, the, the things that you can work on are in the middle or on the right. Um, and this particular one, the um, code is um, and the lower 
panel there and the uh, class diagram is in the upper panel. There well, it may well be others, but I would not expect them to be particularly different. Um, now, the contribution of the software development environments to quality is, as I said, it, it speeds up the feedback cycle. Now, that means that um, you, you can get it right while you're thinking about it. I mean, it takes quite a while for a programmer to, to build this, um, the, the, uh, the artificial world in their head and all the complications and all the connections between it all. So if they can work on that while they've got it in their mind and get it right, that's a great thing. Now, short feedback cycles help that to do that immensely. So having the editor, uh, compiler, debugger, uh, version control there is a great thing. The other thing that they do is to take care of all the mundane details. For example, uh, configuration management. If that's automatic, then the programmer doesn't have to think about it and they can get it, they can get it right. They're working on the latest version of uh, the various files and there's just no question about it. So that's, that's a great idea. So in summary then, the um, software development environments visually present several different tools. They combine the several different tools that a programmer might need at any one time. And they're all uh, integrated and they're at hand and provides quite a, uh, quite a powerful uh, workbench for them to work with. They do uh, speed up the feedback cycle, give the immediate feedback cycle, and uh, as well as that, um, give suggestions for very good practice. So overall, these software development environments are uh, quite a contribution to quality.